You know how some people cut off the crust of their toast, even if it's the most delicious part of the bread sometimes? Same thing happened on the way back from Berlin. Lars got a seat in the train. Let me elaborate why this is an extraordinary thing. So, Lars and I, we went to Hogwarts to talk about our project. It is a bridge between dance and creative coding and it supplies and provides you with uh, a server where you can put some videos or just scan yourself with your webcam or just download the software and run this on your own and then use the game data to create creative code that doesn't use Perlin noise but instead uses the movement of some dancer in yeah in some choreography of some well well known or less well known choreographer. Did I explain that properly? Yeah qu quite good actually So when we started interfaces we thought we'd just use sensors like the Kinect. So we bought not one but two Kinect sensors to just use in this installation. The Kinect Azure is a great tool for everything interactive and everything that needs the movement data like the position in 3D space of the limbs and joints of your body. So this doesn't only just record the image but it also sends out that data. But it has two big drawbacks. One, it's pretty expensive. It's about the same price as a good camera and uh, 500 euros is a lot for something that you can't really use without a computer attached. Secondly, that computer attached, well, it needs to be Windows because every other system would just not run with it. And that's a big drawback for everybody who does want to do creative art on a Mac, for instance. We tried out other systems like uh, little sensors and stuff to grab the motion but we ended up using the most approachable system at all because everybody has a camera even on their phones and those cameras record well enough to use the material to then scan it with an algorithm so that algorithm was media pipe by google and we tried to squeeze it into the system and run it from a server. But then we thought about the crust on our toast again and about the things that we would throw away if we would just use it as an offline scanning system. So Lars got a seat back in the train from Berlin where we presented the solution and programmed something that I'm about to show you right now. This is the server that you can download and use on almost any machine or just use the live instance that is also linked in the description or just go to the github link also in the description and download the whole thing install it with a tutorial and then just have it run in your room uh, it uses your webcam or any webcam even the one that installed and you can connect it with a simple router to the computer you work on and here's the beauty of the thing we are you guessed it my friends in touch designer this is a touch designer composition that uses the data that comes from this live instance it's a very simple web socket that um, in this case i hacked to work with some replacements and some stuff and that feeds into the positioning of those little squares of course the values you're getting are a little jittery because this camera with its few pixels its really bad optics and uh, the huge noise that it creates tries to estimate the distance of my body to the camera and then generate Z values from it. If you have a better camera, less noise, better optics, this changes drastically. Of course that's not a good reason to throw away a Kinect if you have one, but reconsider buying one if there is one very special thing that you might want to do. Maybe you want to zoom in. You can't zoom in on a Kinect, but you can zoom in on any camera connected to a server that uses your image for something like this. But hey, it's free bread. Just download it, use it and tell us how it worked for you. And I'll be seeing you next time.